<sighs> What's up, team? You feeling frustrated? Are you pissed off? Are you impatient? Because you're not getting the results that you want? Well, this video is just a quick little motivation to lose that feeling, to get rid of the frustration, start being patient, and know that the results are coming. If you continue to build these habits, if you make sure that you're doing the things that you're supposed to be doing, you're getting results. You're breaking the old patterns and the old habits and the old behaviors. Don't worry so much about the end result or the outcome right now. Focus on the habits and just showing up day in, day out for you. I had this client who's frustrated about not losing weight. She's already lost like five to 10 pounds, but now it's been multiple weeks where she's staying the same. And she's super frustrated. She's like, I feel like I'm doing the right things. Why isn't the scale going down? I'm like, whoa, 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 hold on. Why are you doing this? Are you doing it so the scale moves or are you doing it to feel better? Are you doing it to build new habits? To break old habits? Because you're doing that, eventually that scale will change. Eventually you'll get the results that you're supposed to get. But let's not be so attached to this outcome that it starts frustrating us because when we're feeling frustrated, we're moving down on the emotional guidance scale. When we do that, we're going to make poor decisions. I, I'm frustrated, I'm not losing weight anyways, let me just eat this ice cream, let me go have some drinks. Then we truly forget about why we're doing this. We're doing this for long-term health, long-term success. If we're doing all the right things, if we're trying our best, there's no reason we should be frustrated. And we have to remember that our mind plays tricks on us. It's going to come up with excuses and reasons for you to revert back into those comfortable feelings, those comfortable habits that you've created. Like, oh, I'm angry, I'm going to eat the ice cream at night. I'm pissed off today, it was a bad day, I'm going to drink that, the six pack. Whatever it is for you, our mind is trying to create excuses. So it builds up this frustration. Like, it's not working anyways. I'm not getting the results that I want. I might as well just eat whatever I want, continue to live like I used to live. That's your mind playing a trick on you. You're about to get the results that you want. You're about to have that breakthrough. You're about to level up, but something's trying to hold you back. We have to snap out of it. We can't, let, we can't think these thoughts are true. Something's lying to us. That's what I want this video to be about, to keep going, Ignore the frustration. Don't worry so much about the outcome. We have to remember the real reason and the real true intentions for what we're doing. I'm not going to let my mind play a trick on me. Telling me like I'm getting nothing out of it. We're building better habits. We're, we're becoming a better version of ourselves with every action step that we take. It's okay if you feel like you're not moving forward. Maybe it's time to find one new little discipline that you can change. And remember that the way to move up from frustration on the emotional guidance scale is to be content, be okay with where you're at. Be happy with who you are. If nothing changes and I'm doing all this work, I'll still be happy. If, if all this energy into this doesn't ever make me any money, but it brings me some enjoyment, some fulfillment, then that's okay. If these new habits make me he healthier, make me, make me feel better and more confident about myself, then I don't care about the scale. If you do that, if you stop stressing so much about the outcome, watch everything come easier for you. I've seen it over and over again. People reach their goals, then they, then they shoot for another goal. They start getting frustrated. It's a little more challenging. They're not seeing the results as fast as they expected. Then they revert back. I'm not letting that happen to you. When you reach a goal, don't forget about the accomplishments that you've had in the past. You already are successful. You've had experiences and successes in your life. Whether you've lost weight, whether you graduated from high school, whether you've got your driver's license, you've got your first job, you've had a kid. I don't know, you've had so many successes in your life. Don't forget about those because those will motivate us, those will ignite us and inspire us to keep going and to get through any frustration that we have. So this video is just really just to tell you to keep going. This is the Wellness and Such channel. This is the Success Army. Hit that subscribe button. And remember, I'm just here to ignite your passion. Be you and be different. Peace and one love.